in this video, we're going to begin looking at how we can graph points and lines on this thing called the coordinate plane. This picture here shows us what the coordinate plane looks like. Essentially, we've got one number line going horizontally that we call the x-axis. And then we put another number line going vertically, which we call the y-axis. And they both meet in this center point. That center point is called the origin. And the origin is where x is 0 on the number line and y is 0 on the number line. And so for the x's, they count up going to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They go negative on the left, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, just like a number line. Similar with the y-axis, it's just vertical with the positive numbers going up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative numbers going down, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And this intersection of the x and y axis, or these two number lines, is what we call the coordinate plane. What's nice about these two directions of number lines is we can give directions to some point out there in space by first going to the right and then up as a coordinate pair x comma y. Now, if we have to go down, we'll use, oh wait, opposite of right is left, not down, right? If we have to go left, we'll use a negative to represent left. And if we have to go down, we'll use a negative to represent down. But generally, the directions are right, then up. If we have an equation that we're interested in graphing, we can pick values for one of the variables, maybe the x, and then find the corresponding values for y that go with that point. Let's look at some examples where we consider this property of addresses. In this first example, we're asked to graph several points. Let's first graph the point negative 2, negative 3. Remember that negative 2 is the x direction to the right or left because it's negative, and the 3 means up, 3. So first, we will go to the left 2, 1, 2, that's negative 2. How about I even draw a line here? Negative 2, and then up 3, 1, 2, 3, and that is the first point. The next point then is 4, comma, negative 1. 4 to the right, we always go right first, 2, 3, 4, and negative 1 means down 1. Now, technically, we don't have to, actually, we shouldn't be drawing these little bumps. We should just be drawing the final dot. So let's see if we can track the dot to the point negative 2, negative 4. The first number's the x, the second number's the y, so negative 2 on the x, 1, 2, and negative 4 on the y, 1, 2, 3, 4 the next point. 0, 3. 0, 3 means me we move 0 on the x, no movement on the left, right, but 3 up. 1, 2, 3 up. Negative 1, 0 means we move negative 1 on the x, 0 on the y, there's no vertical change. And finally, 3, comma, 4. 1, 2, 3 to the right, and 1, 2, 3, 4 up, and we've got that point as well. So, if I, whoops, didn't mean to get rid of the blue dot there. Was it negative 2, 3? So we should have these dots on our graph. Example 2 asks us to actually graph the equation y equals 2x minus 1. This is where we're going to pick values for x and find what goes with the y's. So we'll pick a value for x, and we'll find what y is if it equals 2x minus 1. So let's start by picking maybe 0 for x. That's a good number. That means y is equal to 2x. We just said x is 0, so 2 times 0 minus 1. So 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 equals negative 1. 
So this means we have a point, let's put it below the graph here, when x is 0, y is negative 1. So x is 0, no left right movement, but negative 1 down, we have a point. Let's pick a positive value for x. 1 is always a good positive value, so y is equal to 2x, or 2 times 1, minus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is just positive 1. So that tells us when x is 1, y is also 1. So 1 over, 1 up. I like to pick 0, a positive, and a negative number, so let's also pick a negative number. We'll put negative 1 in there. So y is equal to 2x, or 2 times negative 1, minus 1. And if we look, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and another negative 1 makes it negative 3. So when x is negative 1, y is negative 3. So negative 1 on the x, negative 3 on the y. And what you notice is these dots are lining up in a nice straight line. And we could kind of extend that line. And you notice when we do, we go through several more points. For example, this point here we went through. That's the point 1, 2 to the right, 1, 2, 3 up, 2 comma 3. This suggests 2 comma 3 should work in our equation as well. Let's try it. If x is 2, y is equal to 2 times x, or 2 times 2 minus 1. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. Sure enough, 2, 3 is on our graph. And you would find this all the way up and down the line. Wherever the line hits will work in the equation.